Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's Oz here bringing you another episode of Black Ops 2 Tips and Tricks. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the effectiveness of the fast mag attachment on every gun in Black Ops 2. I was surprised by the results that made me change some of my classes and hopefully it will help you guys out as well. Everybody knows that this is a good attachment. It helps you relay quicker and get into action faster. The only thing is that it doesn't treat every gun the same. Some relay faster than others and some don't have that much difference when you add the fast mag attachment. How I got the results as you can see on screen now is that I fired at a wall and timed the reload with no attachments and then I did the same with fast mag attached and then I did some math, oh my god math outside school. I subtracted fast mag by normal reload and then it came to 0.3 then I divided 0.3 by the normal reload time and then I timed it by 100% that gave us 17% decrease in reload time. I did this with every gun in the game and I won't bore you by doing the math. So I'll just get straight to the results. In the Assault Rifle category, there are 9 guns, as you can see on screen. In the green are the Antar, Scar, and Type 25. They got the most decrease in the reload time, while the M27 and the Foul OSW got the least. So I recommend not to use the Fast Mag attachment on any of the guns in the red. Okay guys, let's skip the submachine guns at the moment and go to the shotguns. As you can see, all the 4 shotguns are around the 36-38% to 38 decrease mark. But then we have the outlier which is the M1216 with 31% decrease. With the shotguns you can use the M1216 with fast mag because it does decrease the relay time by nearly one third. Now onto the snipers. As you can see straight away the XPR50 has a 40% decrease which is pretty massive for a sniper rifle. Then you have the SVUAS with only 29% which lets down the other sniper rifles because it's under 30%. Now onto the submachine guns. As you can see, they are basically spread all over the place. As you can see with the Scorpion Evo, I think the Scorpion Evo already had the fastest reload in the game, but then it has the highest percentage in decrease when you put the fast mag on, which is incredible. Now there is the Vector K10, which is a slap in the face with 15%, and I really thought the Vector was a beast with the fast mag. But as you can see with the reload decrease time, it basically tells us that there is no point in using it on the Vector. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Hope this video has helped you out. It took me about 5-6 to six hours to get the information and make those easy to read pictures. So please give this video a like and please subscribe. It will be greatly appreciated. Till then, it's the Hawkey Special signing off. Peace.